Oh, right back in full effect. Today's show is going to be quite an interesting one. And of course, as soon as I press record, people want to text me. All right. Hiding in the shadows or hidden in the shadows is a real thing. What is hidden in the shadows, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. (laughs) Yeah, I know you here. I know you ain't here too. Don't act like you not, fam. You here. But hey, thanks for the view. And enjoy the show. We got us a good one here. And it's gonna get deep. Yup, a deep dive. All right, now. What is hidden in the shadows? From my perspective, Mr. Donnie, not in a way's perspective. When you hear me talk about that, as in uh, people who are hidden in the shadows, it's a certain demographic of people. People who don't want to be seen or it to be known that they come to my channel and watch my videos or a particular video of their interest. Now, it's not ultimately a bad thing for a person to be hidden in the shadows because I tend to do this as well too. Only difference with me is I have no issues letting it be known if I watch a certain content creator. I give shout outs here and there, you know. I have no problem with that. But as trials and error has taught me in my world, over some time I've learned sometimes, sometimes, it's best not to meet or interact with your favorite content creators. In other words, there is a saying that goes something like this, never meet your heroes. That's right. I know some of you have heard that before. See, I interacted with some um, content creators who I had a lot of respect and love for, but I didn't know them fully as a person. That's why it's always best to just appreciate the message, nonetheless the messenger, because the messenger might be a horrible person. But, I digress. I learned this lesson the hard way. I was meeting a lot of content creators. Although I always showed them love and respect, we crashed out or they started throwing subs, started moving funny, and I had to pull back and get out their way. When people get to acting funny, just get out their way. If you feel like there's a person that you cool with and they starting to act funny and weird, Sometimes you're not going to be able to communicate with them because they're not a person that can be a person that you can communicate with because they do a lot of talking, but they suck when it comes to communication. They suck when it comes to empathy and compassion. They just don't care. As long as it don't affect them and their family, they can care less about you. You got to remember, these are people on the Internet. Don't idolize them. It's good to like them, but it's also good to like them from afar, from a distance. So a lot of these people are weirdos in real life. They really are. And most of the times, they don't really have a lot of friends. They, I doubt they have any friends in a lot of cases. Yes, you can call them a lone wolf. You know? And a lot of them are coming from a place of bitterness, slightly jaded, and hurtfulness. They haven't fully healed from what happened in their past that traumatized them. So they was motivated by those before them or those who was bigger than them in in these spaces. And they decided they wanted to be a content creator and speak their mind. But they're coming from a place of deep, 
they want to help the people, but they don't realize that they're casting their pearls, but in a sense of bitterness. So it's not pearls anymore. It's poison at that point. They're spewing out all this venom and hatred, and they want you to be a clone version of them. They want you to be just like them. Anything I ever teach y'all or speak to y'all, do your own research. Don't just take my word for it because I could have it wrong or I messed up somewhere. And if you can pinpoint that and I feel like, you know what, you're right, you're spot on. My bad, I apologize, my fault. That's what real men do. We don't, oh, I'm a real man. Real man don't apologize. No, if you was out of order or out of pocket or in the wrong, why wouldn't you want to apologize? Nobody's perfect. And that doesn't make you a weak individual. Yo, I don't know if it's the elders or just people in general in this world. They think that if you apologize as a man or if you cry as a man, you're a weak person. If if it was less of a man, meaning that if you was to cry, that makes you a weak man. Why would the creator give us these emotions? So how does that make you a weak man? Every man within his life, whether it was when he was a boy and then he never cried no more as he got older as a man or he did cry as he got older. It happens. There's nothing wrong with shedding some tears. You're weeping. Didn't they said the Messiah weeped? Was he not a man when he was weeping? I know we can't compare ourselves to him not doing that, but I'm making a point. Even brothers who were in those days of old, they had moments where they had sadness and they was crying. So why does that make you weak of a man? No, you're only weak of a man if you cry all the time. Like cry, Reese. But that doesn't make you weak. Sometimes you just, you 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 feel it. You be in the moment emotionally and you just, you can't hold it no more. You want to pour it all out. Now, there was a time when I was crying, right? And I wanted to beat the brakes off somebody. But because of where I was at, I knew that if I would have did that, I would have been arrested. So I ain't gonna front it. It was, it was heavy and everything was happening so fast. Everybody was going crazy. This individual was really a thorn in my side. And because I couldn't beat the brakes off, fam, I, I just poured down. You know what I'm saying? It happens. I wiped my tears and I kept it moving. And I'm glad I, I reframed from beating the brakes off, dude. You know what I mean? But this, the place I was at and the setting, I wouldn't have won that. You know what I mean? I probably wouldn't be here making um, YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes things just happen, you know? It'd be a lot. You'd be overwhelmed. You know what I mean? You're going through a lot. And sometimes mentally it messes with you. Hey, go in the bathroom. My thing that I recommend to men, try not to cry in front of people. Go somewhere far. Lock yourself in the bathroom. Let it all out. Wipe your tears, dry your face, and go out there like nothing happened and just keep it moving. And try to avoid crying in front of your woman. You don't really want to do that. It depends why you're crying. I always joke and say, if you get caught cheating, then go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Let them tears flow. But really, if somebody passes away that was close to you, and you pouring down for that, I don't think nobody could ever say you're a weak man. If it was your grandma or your favorite auntie or your brother or your child, if you know you lost them, Lord forbid that, but I'm making no point. Who could ever scrutinize you or criticize you for crying for that? They are bozo and they're an evil person who the Lord is not with these people if they're talking like that. Like I said, as long as you're not crying on every little issue, some things you got to suck it up, buttercup. I sound like this girl I used to talk to. Sometimes you got to suck it up, buttercup. Pause. You know, I, I, ain't, I ain't know no funny stuff, but it's just the same. I'm, I only say that to women, okay? I ain't saying that to them, no man. But you get what I'm getting at. <laughs> Things that make you go, mm. Nah, I'm just joking. But anyway, you know... When people get to throwing subs, I just get out their way. Because me personally, I can't rock with those type of people. 
They rock with you, but to a degree. It's either you rock with me or you don't. Oh, you, you want it one way. <laughs> You're damn skippy. I want it one way. I wouldn't want it no other way. Of course I want it one way. Why would I want it this way, but then it's the other way? You say one thing out your mouth, do the other. Or you say two things out of both sides of your mouth. No, you can't be a double-minded individual. It's one way or get out the way. You know what I'm saying? Go somewhere else with all that. You know? And you got to remember when you're cool with a content creator, if y'all have a crash out, y'all might be having that issue because y'all... Y'all are not meshing well. Y'all don't really, y'all not each other's alikes. Y'all got two different point of views, different ideologies and belief systems. And if they are individuals who's funny style and they pretend to rock with you, but don't really rock with you, then of course y'all gonna bump heads. You know, they watch your channel don't agree with certain things, then they run back to their channel and now they want to talk about you in a negative way without, without mentioning your name. That's throwing subs. No, that's what I call lame. And you know they sneak this in talking about you based off the time frame, patterns, and things in regards to the things you said or did in your video or have done, etc. If you're heavy in your discernment, you will know and be able to peep the games that's being played. Pay attention. How could you rock with a person who moves like that? Hmm? How could you? You get my drift? How could you if they just can't come to you and say, hey, this is what I'm feeling, blah, blah, blah. Or this is. Well, all right, we ain't gonna go off the feelings and emotions, but they come to you like, hey, this is my issue, da 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 da. That's what real friends do. They tell each other, hey, what's on their mind, how they feel about something, and they take it from there. That doesn't make you a lame because you're telling somebody you think that you're cool with the fact that you, you know, y'all got an issue. My bad, y'all gotta respond to a text. Then I got to roll up out of here, even though it's a rainy day. Still got to make the moves. Hitting in the shadows. To me, it's an awkward thing when it's a troll who's hiding in the shadows. Boy, let me tell you. Strange. Some people are strange on this internet. <laughs> but you got to remember, people hide behind avatars. Well, we can say the same about you, Donnie. I'm not hiding from anyone. I just don't want the fame. And I told y'all that I'm thinking about it. I might reveal myself to y'all. If not, then, and if you find out what I look like, then it is what it is. Oh, no, that's somebody else. Man, his dress longer than mine. Way longer than mine. She, he looking like um, one of the one of the Marleys. Oh my bad. So what was I? Uh, when it comes to troll, okay, I was talking about trolls hitting in the shadows. Why is it awkward? Well, let me elaborate. If I have blocked you due to you being weird or disrespectful on my channel, why would you create another account under another name just to either hide? And continue to watch me knowing you don't like me or can't stand me or my beliefs or my ways. Or. Or. <laughs> you want to troll me in the comment section. Under another name. Knowing I blocked you. What is the point in all that? You create another account under another name to come back and finish your argument or disrespectful comments from another account because the other one was blocked. Oh yes, they do this, y'all. You don't think that's strange? That's what trolls do. My thing is, you was better off staying hidden in the shadows because I'm blocking that account too. <laughs> what you thought this was, huh? A lot of people are hitting in the shadows for several of reasons. 
We won't be able to cover all those reasons in this particular video, but we will cover the basics, at least some of them. A lot of people are hidden in the shadows for several of reasons, especially if they are a big content creator who's here to watch, study, then run back to their channel with your sauce. Yes, they ran off with your sauce as if it was theirs. Yep, content and lingo and formulas of ways you created on your channel as if they are that talented and gifted. Now you like, yo, that's what I said. He told you, yo, he stole my talking points. You hear that a lot from content creators, don't you? And it's crazy because they be biting off of each other here and there. Or some bite from others and the other person didn't even know that they was biting them until the fans, you know, the audience or whoever that rock with that person, you know, pointed it out to them. Like, yo, he just copied your video. I remember there was one YouTuber and shout out to the um, shorty. She's a beautiful woman. She makes great content. She does reaction videos. Then you had this one dude who was copying a lot of her videos. And I guess the audience, her audience caught on to it and they let her know. And then it was like a back and forth between these two. They was at war with each other and um, eventually he stopped doing it and then I think he disappeared. But I just find that stuff like that to be weird. Like he was really copying her entire videos, bro. Not just a talking point, her entire formula. And I'm like, this dude is weird. Then as she called him out, he tried to give us some pushback, talking about I don't be copying you. It was clear as day the way she did. She did a reaction to his videos, if I'm not mistaken, calling him out. Yo, it was crazy. But she's still around. I think she got like 100,000 subs now. She's up there, man. I love watching her channel. Yeah, I'm subscribed to her. Um, What's her name? I can't remember her name right now. I think it's... Is it Deisha now? Might be. All right, I got to wrap this up. Um, Yeah, I got moves to make. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see what this text say. How's your day going? So, so far all right now where was i at um but yeah they'll copy your material and act like it's theirs you know yes copycatters hijackers content thieves that's right you heard it that's what they all are unoriginal content creators they're not at that point you're not even really a content creator you know now if you are inspired and motivated by a video or videos that I have done, and you would you would like to do the same, but in your own way, or take the topic that I created to levels I couldn't reach or didn't think of, I got no problem with that. Sometimes I'm flattered by some of y'all's videos. Yeah. But why a lot of you never want to give me a shout out? When, if it wasn't for me in regards to the video or videos that inspired you to make a video similar to that or those, why don't you give me my credit and my respect and my salute? Why not shout me out? Oh. Because then you feel like you have competition. Mm. Things that make you go mm -hmm. Things that make you go mm -hmm. Got it You feel like I'm a I am a potential threat to your audience Meaning that if they find out Or were to find out That you got your style Word plays Talking points Langos From me Then they're going to want to see what I got going on Oh yeah, and then in most cases they're gonna want to subscribe to my channel if they find it to be interesting. And that's what you big and some of you small content creators who stay hidden in the shadows. You watch me from afar and copy little from here, little from there, little from here, little from there, uh, little from here, little from there, uh, little from here, little from there, and then you go act like it's all you. 
That's why y'all stay over there. Fighting. Got it. You want to make yourself seem like you're larger than life. Like that's all you. Like your mind goes to into utopia. To where you, you pull all this creativity out of there. And you give it to the world. Nah. See that's what I did. You know. Or something somebody might have did in a video. They might have said something. And I said ding. Light bulb. I'm going to take it to a level that they didn't think of doing it. Nothing wrong with that. But when you try to copy, like, I say a full sentence or something, and you say it word for word verbatim, that's biting, fam. Disrespectful, man. It's nasty, nasty work. That's why you stay hidden in the shadows. You wouldn't dare mention my name because you know I don't want to help him reach to the level where I'm at because I had to struggle for so long to get to this point. And I mentioned his name, and it took me a year or two or five years to get here or 10 years. It'll take him 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or a whole day, and boom, he's where I'm at. I can't have that. You stay all the way in the back of the line. Uh Uh-uh. No. Uh Uh-uh, I need you to struggle. Put in the work. Nobody helped me out. (laughs) Black people love saying that. Ain't nobody helped me out. Well, I ain't helping you out. Get it on your own. Put in the work. Get it out the mud. <laughs> when y'all look at my community section, which is now called Pulse, <laughs> it's crazy how they changed that. Y'all peep that? You always will see me shout out channels smaller than me. Not everybody, but those that I might like their channel or they, or a video they did. Free of charge. That's right. Then I come back later and be like, wow, they made it to a thousand subscribers. Some surpassed me and I'm still not a hater. I'm not jealous. I'm happy for them. But I wish they would give me that shout out back because I shouted you out when I was above you. But you surpassed me. I'm happy for you. You're doing something that's getting you there. And hopefully one day I'll get there. No hate here. But don't forget when nobody wasn't doing that for you. I was one of those people who did. You got to give it back. But people, black people, we just, this is why we never will come together. We don't want to unify. Everybody is in Hunger Games mode, you know? Maybe the main ones talking about the white man oppressing us and keeping us down when it's you all along. It's you. You won't help your fellow brethren. I'm not saying you got to help everybody, but if you claim you rock with me, why not help me? Pull me up and then I pull the next man up. Then the next man will pull the next man up. You see how that gift keeps going? And if you ever fall back down and then I rise and surpass you, I remember what you did for me. And I'm going to pull you back up. You see how we help each other? Black people don't do that. No, man, you're going to have to get it out the mud, man. Put it in the work. Man, I ain't helping nobody. Ain't nobody help me. See, you you lazy, man. You out. Man, you going to have to get your hustle on, man. It is what it is, y'all. I'm just never going to forget those that did shout me out and show me love and who really did rock with me. The rest of y'all, I'm leaving y'all in the dust. You know, I don't even want to be associated with some of y'all. But yes, people watch you. People watch you in the shadows. You'd be surprised who's quietly watching you. They never post a comment. They never... um show you that they exist and some of the reasons which I just went over um sorry for being long-winded I'm about to end this video maybe not all the time but yes they are watching you just never forget that oh yeah oh yeah they are there they are there trust me